What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the movie guy, and here's my movie review of Bill and Ted Face the Music, directed by Dean Parizzo. Apologize if I said your name incorrectly. Starring Keanu Reeves, Alex Winter, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, the ruler of the future tells best friends Bill and Ted they must compose a new song to save life as we know it. But instead of writing it, they decide to travel through time to steal it from their older selves. Meanwhile, their young daughters devise their own musical scheme to help their fathers bring harmony to the universe. When it comes to the Bill and Ted films, I love Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. The first one that came out in 1989. Absolutely one of my favorite films. It's a lot of fun, has a lot of heart and charm to it. Keanu Reeves, Alex Winter as Bill and Ted are fantastic in that film. I mean, that film, I have so much memories about that film. I remember watching that, my first time watching it, like when I was in middle school and just constantly watched it every time. It it just gets better and better and watched it in high school. I love that film to death. I highly recommend you checking that one out if you haven't seen it yet. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Nah, I'll say it's okay. Not like, not the best film like the first one. It was okay. Certain things didn't work for me. And as I like rewatch it a couple times, it hasn't aged well for me and stuff. Not better than the first one, but it's I say okay film. So now like we have Bill and Ted face the music, which I was kind of uneasy about because for one, the last one came out in 1991, The Bogus Journey. And this one's coming out in 2020. So that's like like long years apart where when we when I see films like that, like I've seen films like that happen in the past recent years that hasn't worked. Where we have a film that come out in the late 2000s, come from when a film that came out like like either by like a first film or the second film come out like in the 80s, 90s, or in the early 2000s, and now we have a film coming out in the late 2000s, that usually don't work. And, with, and I've seen that in the past recent years for examples. Dumb and Dumber 2, which, if I'm not mistaken, came out in 2014. That wasn't good at all. I mean, it wasn't as good, nearly as good as the 1994 film, which I highly recommend you checking that one out if you haven't seen it yet. It's absolutely fun. It's funny. Everything, Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels are fantastic in that film. The second one, uh, just didn't work. The jokes were cringeworthy. Just wasn't funny at all. Everything fell flat in that film. But hey, if you enjoy that film, I have it for you. But for me, it just didn't work for me. And I personally, I don't recommend that film at all. <laughs> but hey, if you want to check it out, hey, I mean, you're you're free enough to check it out. I mean, I'm not most my my judgment my judgment of the film shouldn't stop you from watching it. But we also have films that have succeeded on that. I mean, for example, Bad Boys for Life which the last one came out in 2003 and stuff. And the this the, the last one came out just this year, alone just recently this year in 2020 in January, which I was kind of fearful for that because I didn't know if that was going to be good at all. And it's coming, in the month, coming out in the month of January. So I was like, oh, I don't know. But hey, it was, it was, it blew my mind in the theaters and I recommend checking it out. It's on DVD. So check it on DVD. It's, Really, really fantastic. So, Bill and Ted faced the, the faced the music. I didn't know it was gonna be good or not, but hey, Bad Boys Fly did good. So I was like, okay, right, let me see how this is gonna be. So I heard it was coming out in theaters. I didn't check it out in theaters. I checked it out. It's on BOD. So I checked it out on that, and I'm happy to say Bill and Ted Face the Music is fantastic. I love this film. Oh, it. It gives me the happy, nostalgic vibes of the first movie. I'm absolutely, I was like, man, I was just, I, I'm lost of words. I mean, after I got done with the film, I was just like, yes, this is fantastic. I was just, it, it has issues for sure, but man, I was just like, this film is so much fun. It is, it absolutely is great. I mean, let me get on with the positives. I mean, the story absolutely captured the same magic as the first one. I mean, just the same elements. It 
it does new things here, which like like it used the same magic stuff like the first film, but it it does it in a fresh way, which I love. I mean, we get where Keanu Reeves' character and Alex Winter character where they're they're as Bill and Ted, where they're full grown adults now. They they have wives, they have a family, they have daughters and stuff. So that makes it fresh. So as like I was watching a film, I was like, huh, let me see how this story is gonna go. And it absolutely worked. We have where their daughters are going and time traveling with their father and stuff. And that makes it it makes it very interesting and fun. And I absolutely enjoyed it from beginning, middle, and end. Because for one, we have where like what I said from the premise. We have where Keanu Reeves' character and Alice Winter as Bill and Ted, where they go in this time travel, have to find this music and stuff, and have to steal it from their old self. They have to go like in the future, where they're where they become like a little bit older and stuff, where they see in their their selves in the future. That was absolutely funny. I thought that element really works and stuff. Really, they they took like. A lot of risk of doing different stuff in the future and stuff and I thought it paid off well and they delivered on it because we get to see like Bill and Ted's characters like in prison and stuff we get to see them as elderly people and it was and it really worked well I thought it was really funny and then we get their daughters which I thought that was one of the parts that could have been like a like a thing that could have got annoying because while seeing their daughters and stuff going through time travel, I was like, huh, how's this going to work? Is this going to work? And it absolutely works, man. I mean, seeing them going time travel, helping their fathers out, getting, which I won't get any spoilers, where they go back in time, going, like, getting the, the famous musicians and stuff, trying to help their fathers out, collect them all, and then going that little time machine thing, the, tel the, tel the telephone booth thing, bringing them all and stuff, capturing each and every one of them. Absolutely worked. It was fantastic. I thought that was very fun and stuff, seeing, like, certain ones that, like, like I'm not going to, I'm trying my best not getting spoilers, but if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. It was just kind of interesting seeing some of the actors playing the famous mu musicians and stuff, and they absolutely do a fantastic job on that. It was absolutely fun. So, it never had like a dull moment, and when we get like a screen time with Keanu Reeves and and Alex Winter's character and their two daughters, like back and forth when it when they kept like giving screen times, and we'll go to Keanu Reeves' character and the daughters and stuff going back and forth, it absolutely works, and the and the execution screen time absolutely pays off, and I thought they did a fantastic job on that, so. As a story, I absolutely found it very fun and moving and stuff. It just never had, like, that dull moment. I just, I was trying to find a dull moment. It never had, like, a slow burn. So, it kept you moving. It kept your, your it kept, like, the energy kept flowing in the film. So, that was, like, two thumbs up. And I give the directing and writing props for that. I mean, they, like, captured the magic of the film, but it was so fresh. And I thought it absolutely worked. Now going on to the performance. Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter as Bill and Ted are excellent once again. And their chemistry is so electrifying. I mean, on so many levels. I was, and usually, like, when it comes to sequels, usually people's chemistry don't work. I mean, but in this one, it absolutely works, man. I mean, it, it didn't skip the beat. I mean, it gives me the same vibes as... I'm going to mention again, Bad Boys for Life, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, their chemistry still was on beat, and this one was on was on beat, too. Bill, Bill and Ted, man. I mean, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter, they were so fantastic in this film. I mean, every screen time, I just had a smile on my face. They were fantastic. They still kept, they still, they, it was the same, they, they were like the exact same characters, like from the first his second film, they haven't skipped the beat, even though they like they were young, they were like young, like teenagers and stuff, and all that. But here they was the adults and stuff, and I was afraid that they were gonna lose that spark because when we see movies, we don't usually see the same characters when we see like characters when they become old and stuff, become older adults, they kind of be like all grumpy and stuff, like uh, and all that, like very grumpy. But hey, it it worked here. I really had a blast with them. They still felt like the same characters as when they were teenagers. 
but but like adults and it absolutely worked i had a blast with that and the daughters i can't remember their names off the back but they were fantastic as bill and ted's daughters they were fan they were great man i they, they like i said they could have been annoying but they worked man and two thumbs up their performance was fantastic then my little negatives for the film why it is when it came to the wife and stuff when they had like this little therapy with bill and ted i thought that was one of the elements that kind of was the bog down in this movie i was like eh. i mean if it didn't bother you that's fine if you've seen the film for me i thought that part was like eh, didn't work for me it didn't work for me at all i was just it was one of those elements i was like mm, that was just kind of like a like a thing that like the writers like hey we got to have this in the film it has to be in there i felt like it for me viewing it watching it i just didn't feel like it had to be in there and when they were part of this little i guess that little time travel thing it didn't work for me at all it was like one of the things like eh, it didn't work but that was one of my negatives overall i really enjoyed this film i think you should check this out if you're if you were one of the, the fans of the first film and thought the second film was okay, if, but really the first film alone, I guarantee you'll love this film. If you have seen a Bill and Ted film, I recommend you checking the, the, for the first one out. Second one, I say check it out. It's I'd say it was okay, but I say still check the film out, but especially the first one. If the third one, if you really like anticipated for film, I say really check this out. And if you haven't seen it, please. I recommend you to, and I'm going to give this film a B plus. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about Bill and Ted face the music. Do you like it or not? Let me know that in the comment section down below. And let me know which Bill and Ted film you like down in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button for more future content. That's all I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.